After two long years, two Chattanooga families say justice was finally served. Late Friday night, a jury found Cortez Sims guilty of first degree murder and attempted murder for killing one woman and shooting three others. Now we want to warn you, some of the details of this case may be too graphic for some viewers. Alana LaFleur spoke to families of the victims after the verdict. January 7, 2015 rocks Sabrina Robinson's whole world. Her daughter, Talifa Bowman, was shot and killed in the College Hill Court's apartments. More than two years later, Robinson sat as the jury delivered a guilty verdict for Cortez Sims and her daughter's murder. It was the greatest joy I ever felt because that's my baby. And now she get justice. Is she in peace now? Also in the courtroom throughout the trial was Bianca Horton's family. Horton and her one-year-old daughter Zoe were also shot that day in 2015. The shooting left Zoe paralyzed. Horton was murdered last year before she had the chance to testify as the prosecution's key witness. Her cousin stayed faithful throughout everything. We pray that God's will be done, and that's what happened today. The jury's deliberations came after a challenging case. Marcel Christopher was also shot, but refused to testify, saying he worried for his safety. The jury heard Christopher's old testimony instead. They listened to a 911 call and watched police body cam video showing officers carry baby Zoe. In the video, Marcel Christopher tells police Cortez Sims shot him. Prosecutors say the two men were in rival gangs, feuding when the four victims were shot. Horton and Bowman's families took in all the evidence for the first time this week, sticking together through the emotion details. We was here for each other. There wasn't no split sides. We was here to support everybody. Sims did not testify and the defense didn't call any witnesses or issue a closing statement. This video shows Sims moments after he found out he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Bianca Horton's brother says now that the trial is done and over with, he's ready to move forward. Forgiveness is a very part of closure. It's very important of closure. So if I can't forgive him, I haven't, you know, haven't got closure. That was Alana LaFleur with that story. Sims' first-degree murder charge carries a life sentence. A judge will sentence him for the rest of his charges on May 22nd.